Hello again. Last week, I expect you remember, I went to the wonderful Golden Temple of Amritsar, and um, this week heading for Calcutta. But um, first, I'd like to just show you the camera that I used. It's not a particularly expensive thing, but um, a Kyocera Fine Cam, which um, has some wonderful capabilities, but um, not so expensive. Now I'm heading towards Lucknow, and um, I'm heading. I'm going there really just for one reason, but um, it's on route to Calcutta, so I'm not going out of my way. So this is India, 30 days, part two, and um, here we are in Lucknow, Lucknow Station, in all its glory, and um, now I'm going to take you to the place called the Residency, which was an English, um, British um, residence, residence area, and in 1857 there was an Indian mutiny in which um, something like half of the 2,000 British people there died in a siege which lasted for many, many, many months. And now the, the battle-scarred remains are a memorial to all the Indians who fought for independence. But here, outside Lucknow Station, as usual, the, um, I was asked to take a picture of this fine man and his son. So, the next morning I was in Varanasi and um, feeling very ill actually. This looks like a hospital, but uh, in fact it's uh, called a, a government guest house. Good old colonial building with papaya trees in the gardens around the building. Lovely place to stay actually. And this is uh, three of probably my least favourite kind of people, rickshaw drivers. My one was on the standing on the right, actually, uh, not so bad. But then um, he took me around Varanasi um, to the, one of the places he went to was this temple, and um, a lot of activity there. Of course, it was a very very busy day at the temple, and uh, thousands of people queuing to get in, and um, it's a, a wonderful looking temple actually. It's not so old. Um, and um, the um, the colours are fantastic there, you know, it, as usual, all the different yellows and reds and blues and such like. And you can see a Lay's Crisp advert in the background there. But um, this is a bathing ghat on the Ganges, um, not very well inhabited actually. So, And I spent most of that day sat like this in the back of a rickshaw in choking fumes from cars etc and it was a bit of a failure actually so anyway it was not so bad really so I headed off for Calcutta and um, and again the, the scenery was fantastic from the train here and passing lots of paddy fields I think this was not long before Calcutta in Bengal just rows and rows of fields and uh, plenty of water of course, a lot of rain had come down. So I arrived in Calcutta and um, this is the station at Calcutta, very very big busy place, but outside the station you're confronted with this. Yeah, it's the Hooghly Bridge over the Hooghly River which um, has a span of nearly half a kilometre and um, it's um, extremely busy this bridge but um, just below the bridge around the bridge there are some of these places where people are bathing in the river a typical scene in India of course um, but I wouldn't have liked to have gone in that river it looked rather brown and just outside the station the taxi rank of course hundreds of taxis out there but here's the bridge it's the busiest bridge in the world according to the Guinness Book of Records 
um, with approximately 100,000 vehicles crossing it every day. So now on the Coromandel Express, heading down the east coast of India from uh, from uh, Calcutta down to Chennai, which was of course called Madras, and passing over some quite interesting bridges, and this particular one over a huge estuary on the way down. And then we stopped a few times. Uh, it was very, very welcome to get out of the air conditioning of the carriage, so um, it was, but there weren't so many of these stops. And then Something like um, half past six the following evening I arrived in Chennai and uh, then I had a mad rush around various offices in the station to change my reservation so that I could leave that same evening at 9.30 on the train to Metapayalam which was at the start of the famous um, Uti or mountain railway and um, affectionately known as the toy train. So next week, that's what you'll hear all about, the toy train to Ooty.